I'll walk you through the stacking process for one-shot color astrophotography data and also demonstrate some basic editing techniques. To stack the data, I'll go to File, New Astrophotography Stack. This will take me into a separate workspace or persona for stacking. On the right is the Files panel. This is where you can add the light frames and various calibration frames. The type is currently set to light frames, so I'll add these first by clicking Add Files down here. Then I'll navigate to the folder where they're located, select them all, and click Open. I'll now want to add calibration frames. For this session, I've got dark frames, bias frames, and flat frames. I'll switch the type to bias frames and add them the same way I just added the light frames. Then do the same for the dark frames. And finally, the flat frames. Now, before I click stack, I'll just look at the other two panels here. Generally, you can leave the stacking options at their defaults. You can choose mean or median stacking operators if you wish, but for most data, you will want to use sigma clipping. This uses a median operator, but with an additional threshold that rejects outlier pixels, so it will remove artifacts like light trails from aircraft and other phenomena. If your initial stacked result still has visible trails, you can try reducing the threshold slider here. But 2 is a good default value that accounts for most circumstances. Over on the RAW Options panel, you can try manually setting the fit Bayer pattern if your one-shot color images are not appearing correctly with color data. Unless you specifically need to do this, however, this should be left as inferred. Generally, you can leave white balance set to daylight. But looking at the flat files here, there is a strong green color cast. This suggests the light frames may have a green bias to them. I can change this option to master flat, and the light frames will then be balanced based on the stacked flat frame. This is a good option to bear in mind if you're shooting with a traditional camera and using a clip-in astrophotography filter. Now that I've chosen my settings, I'll click stack to begin the stacking process. If you've provided dark frames, a bad pixel map will be created. Then it will move on to the registration, alignment, and stacking process. Once the process has completed, I'll click OK to see a preview of the stacked result. If I want to adjust any settings, such as the sigma clipping threshold, I can easily restack and produce multiple outputs. I'm happy with the result I have here, however, so I'll click Apply. And this will bring me back to the main photo persona or workspace. Now I'll take you through some basic editing to produce a nice punchy image. First, let's look at the layer stack. Stacked image 1 is a pixel layer and is the stacked image data. The levels adjustment is performing a gamma transform, and the curves adjustment is performing some additional tone shaping. Together, they are providing the initial tone stretch. Above these, I will add a brightness contrast adjustment and bring the brightness slider almost all the way up. Then close the dialog. I'll now want to stop this adjustment from blending so much into the highlight detail. For this, I can use blend ranges. This feature can be accessed by clicking on the cog icon here to open the blend options dialog. And all I'll do here is drag both right-hand nodes down. I now have a decent increase in brightness without overexposing any of the brighter detail. Next, I'll remove the brown background color cast and make it a neutral gray. I'll select the stacked image one layer, then go to Filters, Astrophotography, Remove Background. A sampler will appear in the middle of the document. I'll drag this over a clear area of the background, then check Sample Color at Handle. This will remove the color cast, but I'll then need to increase Output Black Level, as having all the background areas as pure black doesn't look very pleasing. 
I can then click Apply. Next, I'll move to the top of the layer stack and perform some structural enhancement. To do this, I'll go to Layer, New Life Filter Layer, Sharpen, Clarity, then bring the strength slider all the way up. Like with the brightness contrast adjustment, I'll use blend ranges to stop the clarity filter from affecting the highlight detail. This tames the effect somewhat and prevents brighter detail from overexposing. I'll then do some color manipulation. I can use an HSL adjustment for this, which I can quickly add with Command U on Mac, Control U on Windows. I'll target specific color ranges. First, I'll switch to reds and increase both saturation and luminosity. Then do the same for the yellows. And finally, the cyans. Then to finish off the edit, I'll add another brightness contrast adjustment. And this time, just increase both sliders slightly to give the image a small tonal boost. And there we go. That was a look at how to stack one-shot color data in Affinity Photo, plus some basic post-production steps. Thank you for watching.